<laughs> Good morning, fam. Y'all good over there? Cause you know it's that, but yeah. <laughs> they really thought we were gonna give up. We really don't understand how we living. God first. Good. Good morning, y'all. I miss y'all. I know you miss me too. If not, then we be good on that too. You feel me? No hard feeling. I know you probably got a lot going on. I just pray you remember call Jesus Christ so he can be the first priority to get rid of everything else. Fall in place. You know what I'm saying? So, cook it. And then that's your man. We on grandma time. One more time. So, I'm tell y'all right now, your boy ain't been getting a lot of sleep. Okay. So that should tell you something with the spiritual warfare, heavy, strong. But, but you know I fight back, so it is what it is, you feel me? But I'm not losing to no evil and wickedness. And you shouldn't want to do that either. You should oh, I just want to give up and lay down. No, don't be trying to give up while I'm doing all this work. Supposed to be hitting the inside of your spirit to get to work. Hey, stop letting these evil people beat on you, okay? Especially mentally and physically, okay? So we're going to read the book of Daniel to get back to that equipment, trying to a holy God to equip it with what's in front of it, trying to take us out, okay? So we had uh, the book of uh, Daniel, chapter 2, okay. since today is 22nd. Amen to that. Cookies. Oh, one more time, y'all. When I say, well, I barely got some sleep, but the sleep I did get, it was, it was better than that, okay? Because it was after, what, four or five days of no getting no sleep. You straight working, meditating, studying, getting the body right, you know what I'm saying? So, I pray y'all got Jesus Christ as your first focus and not the material. I pray the spiritual food from the good news will do with it supposed to do to take care of everything else in your life. Because y'all living backwards. You living on the surface. Everything you see, you chase after. That's not always safe and smart. That's not safe or smart at all. Because those who live by sight are evil. You can tell because they live by sight. But Jesus came and told us those who live by faith you know what I'm saying? They live by the things they don't see, but they believe it's coming. That's what you call hope. And the things you don't see, but you know it's coming. You feel me? You know it's coming. It has no choice to come, because God didn't give you that, that, that dream, that idea, that thought for no reason. He gave it to you to give it back to him to talk about what to do with it when it does show up or how to be prepared for it right when it flows into your life. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I want to pray and go ahead and read. Yeah, I, can. I don't want to just run my mouth off. I don't like, I don't like talking. I'm all about that action. Okay. I, I really am. I really am, man. I don't like to be stuck and stagnant, man. And when I feel people doing that around me, oh, they just lit that fire right there. They just lit that fire, okay? So, the title for chapter two in the book of Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, say, Nabu Kenazer Dream. 
Nebuchadnezzar's dream. We were just talking about God giving his dreams, thoughts, visions, ideas. The Holy Spirit is not playing. So, let's pray. Yeah. Dear Heavenly Father, we come to you thankful, humbly but boldly, in position to give you all the praise for waking us up, the greatest gift of today. You loving us enough to get us up to worship and praise. One more time. Ooh, one more time. And I do mean one more time. We do not take that for granted. We come to you positioning ourselves to be obedient, to read your word, with your permission from your Holy Spirit to guide us while we rest. So that those who are listening and paying attention when they call on Jesus Christ, they will quickly be healed, fulfilled, satisfied to the mind, body, soul, and spirit, and connected bone. By your love making way, sweeping us off our feet to remind us how great and sovereign you really are. No one can deny you truth, because we cannot live or breathe without your truth. You are the truth that we breathe in and out you. And I pray every breath glorifies in all the things you bless me to say and do. I pray rub off on others in a spiritual loving way taking care of the natural so that those around me will wake up and give you all the praise, Lord Jesus. Because they seen the good work, but first felt it on the, in on the inside before you sent me around to show up. They felt your love. They knew it was love because they've never had it before in that way. And Lord, I pray they continue to fall in alignment with your life so that they know how to stand in the truth and fight against every evil darkness of this world, trying to shatter the life and the peace that it brings. Lord, I thank you for the protection from your holy hand and your angels that you surround us by. I pray for your wisdom and knowledge that you bestow upon it, that it will hit the listening viewers and those who come after us, directly or indirectly, that you will eventually let them know that without you, Lord, they're going to suffer even worse. Please give them that conviction to call on your son, Jesus Christ, who will guide them in their purpose so that you may get the glory out of their life. If I feel like, if I sound like I'm talking in circles, please forgive me, but you know I get straight to the point. And I just want those who are listening and paying attention that they are not alone. And that you, Lord Jesus, always watching them. And if they don't believe me, I dare them to call on your name and watch what happened. And thank you for the miracles that happened after the reading of your word and the prayer. I send to your kingdom. So it rained down blessings that destroyed demons and every evil, wicked, satanic idea, game, plot. Cunning craftiness, no more dark arts, but wherever there is darkness, may your light strike it with such excellence, with such pure love that we can humble ourselves and be obedient to love those who need to be loved on. And help those who need to be helped while you position them to be a blessing. May you get the glory out of everything. 
nothing less. And may you be glorified through it all. Nothing less. In Jesus' name, we pray. All right. Thank God. Amen again. Cookie. Oh, so here we go, y'all. Y'all got to forgive me. I got to, like, low it share right there. I want to sit back and you know, do all that, but they got to make space for all that. Anyway, I ain't tripping. I'm good if you are. Cook. All right, so y'all ready? So down you on page, my foot, 1,216 in the Strength Holy Bible. That was given to me by my grandma or my mother, or both of them together, whatever. Okay, so uh, yeah, so give y'all a second, get there because we're in the second chapter of Daniel, and the title says Never Can Never Dream. We'll say MBN, okay. MBN for sure. Nebuchadnezzar drink. I think Nebuchadnezzar was one of these kings that wanted God's glory. He he thought he was the God. Okay. Over our Heavenly Father. So our Heavenly Father had to, you know, make it clear who's who. Okay. So that's we. Alright, y'all ready? Verse 1. And in the second year of the reign of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuchadnezzar dreamed dreams, wherewith his spirit was troubled, and his sleep break from him. Okay, verse 2. Then the king commanded to call the magician, and the astrologer, and the sorcerer, and the child come for to shoot the king his dream. Period. So they came and stood before the king. Period. Verse 3. And the king said unto them, come <coughs> I have dreamed a dream, come and my spirit was troubled to know the dream. <coughs> Burping, hold on, y'all. Oh, verse 4. Then spake the Chaldean to the king in Syria, comma, O king, comma, live forever, come. Tell thy servant the dream, comma, and we will shew the interpretation. Please. Verse 5. The king answered and said to the Chaldean, comma, the thing is gone from me, Colin, if ye will not make known unto me the dream, Colin, with the interpretation there, Colin, ye shall be cut in pieces, Colin, and your houses shall be made a dung hill. Pig. So he gonna kill if you don't tell the right. Wow. Wow. So you better come correct. So that's your, that, that's your, man. Wow. Verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. Verse 6. Can't be lying to no Lord K. King, huh? Lying. Verse 6. But if you shoot the dream, come on, and the interpretation there is, come on, you shall receive of me gift and reward and great honor. Come Therefore, shoot me the dream, come on. And the interpretation there is. Period. Verse 7. They answered again and said, Come, let the king tell his servant the dream, Come, and we will shew the interpretation of it. Period. Verse 8. The king answered and said, Come, I know a certainty that ye will gain the time, Come, because ye see the thing is gone from me. Period. Verse 9. But if ye will not make known unto me the dream, comma, there is but one decree for you, comma. For ye have prepared lying and corrupt words to speak before me, comma, till the time be changed, comma. 
Therefore, tell me the dream, Conway, and I shall know that ye can show me the interpretation that act. Period. So Nebuchadnezzar is looking for that one who knows the dream because he's saying he forgot what it was. But it's troubling him to the point that he needs to know. And he don't trust those that been around him pretending like they know what they know because he's saying it like this. If you don't know the dream that's troubling me, you not who you say you are. That part. Cookie. So people... When you're a king and you got fake people around you, God gonna make it real clear you got fake people around you. All right, verse 10. The child then answered before the king come and said, come, there is not a man upon the earth that can shoot the king's mouth clearly. Therefore, there is no king come, Lord come, no ruler come, that asks such things at, a, at any magician, comma, or astrologer, comma, or Chaldean, period. It sounds like they admitting they not powerful. They not divine, period. Verse 11. And it is a real thing that the king requires, comma, and there is none other that can shoot it before the king, comma, except the God, lowercase. Cypher spell. The gods, comma, whose dwelling is not with flesh. Period. Verse 12. For this cause the king was angry and very fierce, comma, and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. Period. Verse 13. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. Semicolon. Let me re repeat that. Let me let go about the verse 12. Well, Y'all can't be out here pretending to be something you're not. <laughs> verse 12. For this cause, the king was angry and very free, and commanded to destroy all the wise men of Babylon. Free. Verse 13. And the decree went forth that the wise men should be slain. Semicolon, and they thought Daniel and his fellow to be slain. Period. Verse 14. Then Daniel answered with counsel and wisdom to Ariok, the captain of the king God, comma, which was gone forth to slay the wise men of Babylon. Cousin. Verse 15. He answered and said to Ariok, the king captain, comma, why is the decree so hasty from the king? Question mark. Then Ariot made the, the thing known to Daniel. Period. Verse 16. Then Daniel went in comment, and desired of the king that he would give him time. Comment, and that he would show the king the interpretation. Period. Verse 17. Then Daniel went to his house. Comma, and made the thing known to Hananiah, comma, Mishael, comma, and Azariah, comma, his companion, comma, verse 18, that they would desire mercy of the God of heaven concerning this secret, semicolon, that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon, period, verse 19. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in the night vision, period. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven, period. Verse 20. Daniel answered and said, Come, Blessed be the name of God forever and ever, Curling. for wisdom and might are his, Curling. Verse 21. And he changes the time and the season, Curly. He removes kings, Curly, and set it up, King, Curly. He giveth wisdom unto the wise, Curly, and knowledge to them that know understanding, Curly. Verse 22. He revealeth the deep and secret things, 
Come on. He knoweth what is in the darkness. Come on. And the light dwelleth with him. P. Verse 23. I thank thee, come on, and praise thee, come on, O thou God of my father, come on, who has given me wisdom and might. <clears throat> Good. Come on, And has made known unto me now what we desire of thee. Calling. For thou has now made known unto us the king's matter. Period. Okay, we got a title. Daniel interprets the dream. Verse 24. Cook. Y'all ready? All right. Therefore, Daniel went in unto Aria, comma, whom the king had ordained to destroy the wise men of Babylon. Curly. He went and said thus unto him, semicolon, destroy not the wise men of Babylon, curly. bring me in before the king, curly. and I will shew unto the king the interpretation. Period. Verse 25. Then the area brought in Daniel before the king in haste, curly. and said thus unto him, curly. I have found a man in the captive of Judah, comma, that will make known unto the king the interpretation. Period. Verse 26. The king answered and said to Daniel, comma, whose name was Belteshazzar, comma, art thou able to make known unto me the dream which I have seen, comma, and the interpretation thereof? Question mark. Verse 27, Daniel answered in the presence of the king, come on, and said, come on, the secret which the king hath demanded cannot the wise men, come on, the astrologer, come on, the magician, come on, the soothsayers, come on, shew unto the king, semicolon. Verse 28, but there is a God in heaven, that reveal his secret, comma, and make it known to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, which shall be in the latter days. P. Thy dream, comma, and the visions of thy head upon thy bed, comma, are these. Semicolon. Verse 29. As for thee, comma, O king, comma, thy thought came into thy mind upon thy bed, comma, what should come to pass hereafter, Colin? And he that revealeth secret maketh known to thee what shall come to pass. Period. Verse 30. But as for me, Colin, the secret is not revealed to me for any wisdom that I have more than any living, Colin, but for their sake that shall make known the interpretation to the king. Come, and that thou mightest know the thoughts of thy heart. Period. Verse 31. <coughs> Good. Thou, comma, O king, comma, saw it, comma, and behold a great image. Period. This great image, comma, whose brightness was excellent, comma, stood before thee, semicolon, and the form thereof was terrible. Period. Verse 32. This image's head was a fine gold, comma, his breast and his arms of silk, comma, his belly and his thighs of brass, comma. Verse 33. <clears throat> Good. His legs of iron, comma, his feet, part of iron and part of clay. Period. Verse 34. Thou sawest till that a stone was cut out with our hands, comma, we smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay, comma, and break them to pieces. Period. Verse 35. <clears throat> then was the iron, comma, the clay, comma, the brass, comma, the silk, comma, and the gold, comma, broken to pieces together. 
and become and became like the shop of the summer threshing floors. Semicolon. And the wind carried them away, comma, that no place was found for them, comma. And the stone that smoked the image became a great mountain, comma, and filled the whole earth, period, verse 36. This is the dream, semicolon, and we will tell the interpretation there before the king, period, verse 37. Thou, comma, O king, comma, are the king of kings, comma, for the God of heaven hath given thee a kingdom, comma, power, comma, and strength, comma, and glory, period, verse 38. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, comma, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven hath he given into thy hand. Come, and had made thee ruler over them all. Period. Thou art this head of gold. Period. Verse 39. And after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee. Come, and another third kingdom of brass. Come, which shall bear rule over all the earth. Period. Verse 40. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, comma. for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things, comma. and as iron that breaketh all things, all these, comma, shall it break in pieces and bruise. Period. Verse 41. <coughs> Good. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, Comma, part of uh, part of clay, comma, and part of iron, comma. The kingdom shall be divided, semicolon, but there shall be in it of the strength of the iron, comma. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with mighty clay, period, verse 42. And as the toes of the feet were of heart of iron, comma, and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong, and partly broke. Period. Verse 43. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with mighty clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. Period. Verse 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. Period. Verse 45. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out the mountain with thy hand, comma, and that it break in pieces the iron, comma, the brass, comma, the clay, comma, the silver, comma, and the gold, simica, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter, curly, and the dream is certain, comma, and the interpretation thereof, sure, pay. <clears throat> Good. Verse 46. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face, comma, and worshipped Daniel, comma, and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet altar unto him. Pay. Verse 47. The king answered unto Daniel, comma, and said, comma, of a truth it is, comma, that your God is a God of God, comma, and the Lord of King, comma, and the revealer of secret, comma, seeing thou couldst reveal this secret, period. Verse 48. Then the king 
made Daniel a great man, and gave him many great gifts, and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon, and chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Period. Verse 49. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, over the affairs of the province of Babylon. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. Period. Chapter 3. My. Oh. Oh. Cookies. Oh. <laughs> It's messing with my throat, y'all, uh, uh, man. And we got it out there, right? <coughs> Cookie, if you're not healed and equipped, please pray for the Holy Spirit and go back and reread that, okay? You can't go wrong with that spiritual food and what, okay? So, when you believe in God, He puts you before. Worldly high people, let me say, yeah, worldly high people, because Nebuchadnezzar, he was, of the, he was of the world. He didn't know God if happened. Daniel did. You see how God works in a way, he will take something that looks inferior and make it superior to those who think they worldly superior to us who believe in God. They treat us like we inferior until God shows up. That's why I be telling y'all, don't be scared of these evil, wicked demons. They more scared of you, man. You got to remember that, man. You have to. You have to. So I'm going to say this. Since you're in a human body that has a nervous system, if you feel like something ain't right, call on Jesus, okay? Why am I shaking? Why am I calling on Jesus? He's going to tell you that. Because what you don't see, Y'all got to understand, we are in a, a physical 3D, but you can't see the heaven, spiritual warfare, okay? There's a heavenly warfare going on. Y'all got to understand that, okay? That was the only way Daniel could make it clear to the king. He's not going to understand unless he humbled himself to the God who told him what he needs to know about his dream. You know what I'm saying? Because your king, Nebuchadnezzar, was over there threatening the fake, the fake and phony. The magician, the astrologer, them the fake and phony pretending like they know what they're talking about. But they don't. So, Daniel was trying to ease the king, you know, wrath. And he did. The king en ended up bowing down to Daniel because he felt the truth when, when Daniel told him. Yeah, notice, notice Daniel told him, okay? He didn't have to ask Daniel what the dream was. Daniel told him. Remember he had to ask, remember the king said, if you can't interpret this dream without me having to tell you what it was because he forgot it, I'm going to kill you. That's what the king was saying. And so, and so everybody in the king court got nervous and found Daniel. God make it clear when it's about his people's turn, it's going to be their turn. And can't nobody, evil, wicked, wish, warlock, demonic Satan, and his angels stop it. They can't do nothing. But stand there and watch it. Trembling before the word of God. You're trembling, shaking, man. God is not playing out here, man. That man was basically telling uh, the king Nebuchadnezzar, if you don't humble yourself to work, God, he gonna, he gonna make you, he gonna cut you down. Like you said, you was gonna cut your people you don't tell you the true interpretation of your dream then. He gonna do you just like that. If you don't listen to his divine counselor, Daniel, you short, king. 
And at first, the king was, we're going to see what happens next tomorrow. <laughs> I just need y'all to know, man, get that spiritual food in there, okay? So you can walk out here like the bright light God created you to be, defeating all darkness, okay? Simple as that, man. Peace. Let me try to get some uh, work in. Yeah, I saw I got cut off from uh, uploading more videos. Talking about I went, I exceeded the limit. I don't want to hear that. Man. I think I want to hear that. But on God's divine time, and we keep uploading, man, and you get the uh, blessings you need to get to boost you, uplift you. You know, just keep you, keep you in high spirit. Because it's, it's war out here. It, it, it's spiritual warfare, and it's actually a world war going on out here. Y'all know that, man. Y'all know that. But call on Jesus to protect you right in the middle of all that war. Say I ain't lying. Okay? Say, tell me I'm lying. Say I ain't lying. I know the truth. When you give God your attention, he give you his. Simple as that, man. So, I pray that was fulfilling and satisfying to your mind, body, soul, and spirit. If not, go back and reread it after you ask for the Holy Spirit to guide you while you read it, okay? Don't be trying to read God's Word without the Holy Spirit, man. I'm going to keep saying that because I know y'all keep trying to. Yeah. Well, I don't understand. It's boring. No, you boring. If anybody can sit up here and say the Holy Bible is boring, you have no sense of humor, bro. You are evil. It's straight up, man. This whole Holy Bible talks about how God lies at his enemies. The whole thing. How he lies at his enemies. How he has his enemies right where he needs them to be. The whole time. While they thinking they God over him, he, man, God be laughing at our enemies, y'all. And I need y'all to do the same thing, okay? Because those who misinterpret the Bible is because they are of a dark spirit. They have darkness in them. And it's up to us to come in there with the light and deliver that Deliver them from that darkness by rebuking them spirits and demons in there that's stopping them from getting to know who Jesus Christ is, the light of the world. You feel me? So do your part by reading, then you can go out there defeating any evil thing. So y'all been living caught up in the surface, you ain't go through. You ain't touch your spirit inside your, your, your temple. You just been playing around. Cause that's you been with prepaid program not to understand you walking in the holy Bible. You on this earth, you walking in the holy Bible. Spiritually, ignorant, physic physically, spiritually ignorant of what's happening physically. Okay? So so those and and the other way around. Physically ignorant of what's happening spiritually. When you don't have Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, as your protector, as your uh, reminder of what's going on, as your secret teller that's telling you the secret of what's about to happen or what's on the way to happen, he, he, when you draw close to Jesus Christ, he going to tell you how to protect yourself while he's protecting you. What man? Uh, 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 it gonna go from there, okay? <laughs> it gonna go from there. All right, so yeah, let me make room to uh, do some more work. Catch y'all later. Stop killing each other up. Put the weapons down and let God tell you pick it up and defeat Satan and his army quickly. And I ain't just talking about carnal weapons, okay? I'm talking about spiritual weapons. Equipping yourself with the army of righteousness, holiness. Holy strikes evil quickly. 
soon as this show up. So just give God all the glory he positioned you to be the light to defeat that darkness and, high, and spiritual wickedness in high places. You know what I'm saying? And destroying the underworld, the underbelly, where they kidnapping children and doing all this body trafficking. Yeah, y'all know that, bro. Protect yourself by calling on the who, by calling on the protector, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. If you don't make him your protector, you have no protection. None. Okay? Call on Jesus. And he's going to show you what's up. And if you think I'm lying, come correct me. I'm waiting on y'all correction. Well, I've be, been waiting for a minute, too. Cookies. Oh, because I don't have time to be losing y'all to evil people. Man. I don't. I don't, man, I don't. Eh. All right, so I pray you satisfied and fulfilled with that. If not, go back and read it. And ain't nothing boring about the Holy Bible. You are. If you don't believe it's true, you the boredom and boring going around this earth messing up everybody's peace because you lied on the truth. Let me start reading, laughing while I'm reading. You really gonna understand how powerful a holy God is laughing at his enemies. Thinking they gonna uh, just touch his children without consequence. Got another thing coming, man. Peace, man. Peace, y'all. Peace over violence. Peace over war. And I pray war is finished. No more. And to those involved in participating in it, and you don't have the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, you on your way to hell. Let go fight. Save yourself, because if I catch you in hell, I'm in you at. I'm not playing. I ain't doing all this reading not to get you saved. Yeah. Did you hear what I said? I'm not doing all this reading not to get you saved. You better make yourself saved by calling on Jesus Christ after you see me do the work. Your brother is here to wake you up. Do not leave it. Take it and give it to God. Okay? Please don't ignore me reading for you. Don't do that. Uh, it's not going to go in your favor. Man. It's not. All right. I, I, I did my part. I, 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 I told you to humble yourself. Read so you can be your daughter at the right time to where God get his glory through you. And save the lives of others around you. Simple as that. About saving souls from going to hell. Okay? Tell you. Cook it. And then that's Right? Salute to all those who believe. And all those who will believe. According to their reading and faith. And what they read. Truth. Good news. Enjoy it. Embrace it. My throat, man, they trying to mess up my throat. Let me hop up, man. I love y'all. Good. Be good. Don't kill each other. Get along. Peace over war. Pow. Good. Oh.